Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how ESA's JUICE spacecraft unexpectedly captured a glowing new image of the interstellar comet 3I Atlas, revealing its bright gas halo and two faint tails just days after perihelion, and offering a rare glimpse of a fast-moving visitor passing through our solar system. It was captured by a spacecraft bound for Jupiter. The European Space Agency, or ESA, has released a new image of 3I Atlas taken by its Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, also known as JUICE probe. The spacecraft spotted the interstellar comet a week after it reached perihelion on October 29th. Five instruments on board, the ESA probe, fired up to click pictures of the alien object that has been traveling inside our solar system at breakneck speed. It captured the composition and shape of the plume of gas and dust around 3I Atlas. While we will have to wait until February to see the full image, ESA has downloaded a quarter of a single NAVCAM image. The photo shows a glowing halo of gas and dust surrounding the comet with a hint of two tails. Not only do we clearly see the glowing halo of gas surrounding the comet, known as its coma, we also see a hint of two tails, the ESA wrote. Notably, JUICE is using its main high-gain antenna to protect itself from the sun's heat and radiation, so it is using its smaller medium-gain antenna to send the picture at a lower rate. ESA stated that the navigation camera on board has been designed to help navigate Jupiter's icy moons when it arrives in 2031. It is not a high-resolution science camera, and so it could not get the best view of 3I Atlas. ESA added that one of the two tails seen in the photo is the plasma tail, made up of electrically charged gas, stretching out towards the top of the frame. There is also a fainter dust tail, comprising tiny solid particles. The interstellar visitor made its closest approach to JUICE on November 4th, and was about 66 million kilometers away from the spacecraft. The picture was taken two days before that. This distance was much more than the Mars orbiter was when the comet flew by the red planet on October 2nd. What Juice saw was way better than the trace gas orbiter since the former got a chance to observe it right after perihelion, making it much more active. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come.